Hey, this is Rush. In this lesson, we are gonna talk about adding products to our store. All right, let's talk about our new push to store feature, which allows you to import any of these products that you see here uh, straight into your Shopify store with one click. So let's go through the process of how to do this. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to connect your store uh, to sell the trend. So you need to connect your Shopify store to sell the trend. There's two ways uh, that you can do that. You can either go to tools and click on connect Shopify store. And at that point, it's gonna ask you for your store URL. So that will be www.whateverthenameofthestore.com or, uh, or you can also give it, uh, if you don't have it, uh, a, an actual domain name yet, you can connect it to your uh, uh, Shopify uh, URL that Shopify gives you, which I'll show you that in, in a second here. So that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is as soon as you click on a product uh, here and you click on add this to Shopify right here on the left, uh, it will immediately, if you've never connected your store yet to sell the trend, it will immediately go to this window right here, which allows you to, to make that connection. So let's add our Shopify store uh, to, let's connect our Shopify store to sell the trend here. So let us grab uh, the URL. So this is the URL that you would really need to do here. So if you're in, in your Shopify uh, admin section here, uh, just the domain name right there without any of this extra stuff here at the bottom, at the end, just the actual domain name all the way to myshopify.com. Let's grab that, let's copy that, and let's us click on here, put that in here, click Connect Store. What it's gonna do at this point is it's gonna take us back into Shopify and uh, it's gonna basically ask us if we wanna connect Sell the Trend uh, to our store. Of course, we want to do that. Uh, you can go here to the bottom where it says Install Unlisted App, click that button, and that's it. It's done. Uh, your store is now connected to Sell the Trend. So let us go back into Sell the Trend and start uh, adding products. Let's go to On the Rise, and let us go to Highest, and let's find us a product here. Okay, let's, let's go with this product. Okay, so uh, like we were doing before, uh, the way we get to our push to store, to add this to Shopify, we click on this button here on the left. And now since we've already connected our store, it's gonna open up our push to store uh, window that allows us to uh, specify everything that we need here. So if you are happy, if you are you know new to this page and, and you're not really sure exactly what all the stuff is, uh, you can just quickly just click push to store and immediately it's gonna add this to our import queue and is going to, in the background, add this pr product with all these images, with all these this description, with all this stuff, all straight into your Shopify store, ready for you to start selling it uh, right now. Um, but let's say uh, you know you wanna uh, you know customize a little bit some of these features. Let's go through them in detail to see exactly uh, what you can do to uh, uh, modify some of these some of these features and customize exactly how you want to push push the product through. Okay, so right in the top here, you can see uh, this is our store name, and you can see the button that we pushed to push the, the item to the store, as well as my products, which we will talk about a bit later, uh, which is where. Uh, everything that you sent to your Shopify, all the products you sent to your Shopify will be listed in this My Products page. So right here, we have our product detail source. So the content section here that has the product description as well as all these images here are coming from different stores around the world. So what's really cool about this is that you're gonna be able to really quickly, without leaving Sell the Trend, see exactly how people are promoting this product and the description that they're writing and the images uh, that they are using. So let's go through quickly here and see what other uh, descriptions and product images are using. So this person is obviously very bad. He's using just a straight ahead uh, product description straight from AliExpress, so we definitely don't want that. Uh, we go through here, okay, I like this, has picture of people enjoying this uh, this pillow here. There's a lot of pictures here, which is, this is good, so this one is, is good to remember. So let's just keep clicking here and see exactly uh, what different descriptions our people are using as well as the images. So I already kind of know what I want to do. I want to use this product description here, or at least a, a version of this product description here. I like all the description here, all the all the specifications. I like the the here the, the little write up here. I like this these images and these moving images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this content right here, and now this is going to allow me to keep looking for new pictures, but without this content right here changing. So I know that the previous one had a lot of pictures. Here we go, lots of pictures, but this content, since we locked it, 
is not going to change. So now we have our content the way we like it. I mean, obviously, I, I recommend tweaking this to make sure that you know it fits in exactly how you want to sell this product. And just in case there's there's some language here that you're not happy with. But for now, we're going to keep it the way it is. Uh, we can modify the title, but for now, we can keep it the way it is. And on the right here, we I do like all these images, but I don't really like this image with the with the guy with the thumbs in here. And I, I don't really like these two images are kind of two the same to me. I don't want to include these. And let's say I don't want to add this image right here. Okay, so now I specified the images that I like to uh, that I'm going to uh, send to my store, as well as the content that I'm going to send to my store. And I'm going to lock this here. You don't have to lock it, but you know this at least protects you from you know clicking some of these buttons by mistake and, and moving things around. So yeah, I can click everything here. These are locked right now. Nothing's going to change. So now I'm pretty happy with the content. I'm pretty happy with the images. Let's go to the uh, a bit more down the bottom of the page and see what other things that we can specify. So in this detail section here is where we're going to specify the price that we're going to be selling this product as well as uh, our compare price. So we are going to be selling this product at $34.99. Now this price right here is actually not a random price. This, is a, this price actually is the best price to sell this product. Uh, and the way we, we arrive at this price is basically an average price of all the stores that are selling this, this, uh, this uh, pillow. And there might be even more stores selling this pillow in our system, but we only show you some of the, you know, some of the top stores here, or we always show you the, uh, the, uh, the stores that are ranked as well as some other stores for you to have a kind of a, uh, a lot of different options, but there might be even more stores selling this product. So this is the optimum price to be selling this product at. Uh, so let's go down the page a bit more and see what other options there are. So we're going to talk about uh, pricing rules a bit more, uh, a bit later on. Uh, but for now, let's just skip that and say, you know, we're happy to sell this product at $34.99. We know that we're going to be getting a 60% uh, profit margin here. And the way we arrive at this number right here is by looking at our fulfillment source. So what is a fulfillment source? A fulfillment source is basically the place where we are going to be buying this product. When somebody buys this product from us, from on our store for $34.99, this, the, the, uh, this is the place where we're going to be going to go to buy the product uh, and then have this particular fulfillment source fulfill the order for us, basically you know, ship the order to our customer directly for us. So... Uh, Different products, uh, every every single product that we have here might have uh, different fulfillment, fulfillment sources, as well as it might have more fulfillment sources. So this particular product has two fulfillment sources in our system, uh, but there might be different products that have you know three fulfillment sources, ten fulfillment sources, different numbers. So right now we have two options here. Let's go through them both and see uh, which is the better option for us to add to our store to use as uh, the main fulfillment source uh, for this product. Okay, so this uh, store right here, uh, you can see that the price that they're selling uh, this item at is $13. They have 9,000, uh, almost 10,000 units in stock. And, uh, you know, they have a 97.5 positive feedback. Uh, let's click on this different fulfillment option here. Okay, this looks a bit different here. This uh, looks like uh, there's a different pricing here. There's two different pricing. They have a lot of uh, items in stock and they have four variants, basically four different options. Uh, so let us actually go back to this store here and click on this uh, link here, which will take us straight to that store. And okay, so they're selling just the pillow here and it's for $13.99. Let's go back here and now let's click on this other option. And let's visit uh, the store just to kind of check it out and see. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, they actually have different uh, options here. So this one, there's two in one. Uh, and this one, there's a you know two pack and one pack and all that kind of stuff. And they're they're all different prices here: thirteen dollars, twenty six dollars. Okay, so basically. Um, that's you know the main difference here is is one of them is gonna you know um, has one you know one 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 option only while this one has a couple of options. So I would like to offer this to my customers. I want to add this uh, to my store uh, because it just gives it gives us different options. Now, if we go back quickly to the price here, and I said I'm, we're going to mention the, the the price rules, we're going to talk about the price rules. This is a perfect uh, example of one to use uh, this price rules uh, feature. Uh, feature, uh, as you can see here, there are different options here. There's four different options, and these different options have different prices. As as we looked at here, uh, this this uh, first item is thirteen dollars. This item is twenty six dollars, eighteen dollars, and thirty six dollars. So we basically don't want to just have one big blanket price of thirty four dollars because we'll end up losing money. If somebody ends up buying the thirty six dollar option, you know we're selling it for thirty four. 
that's not very good. So uh, this is a perfect time to use the pricing rules. So let's click on this pricing rules and I'll show you exactly um, uh, what it means. So as soon as you click on the pricing rule here, uh, you can see that this gets blacked out. These, these prices get blacked out and uh, now pricing rules are in fact. So what are pricing rules? Let's click on this manage rules here and you will see exactly what they are. So if we click on this manage rules here, uh, you can go to the push to store section. It will open up our settings. You go to the push to store and you can see that we underneath the pricing rules, we have this uh, these, these two sets of rules here. So we have uh, the first one is what will give us our final uh, product price. So what uh, the way it's going to get calculated is the following. Product cost multiplied by three. So let's go back here and let's see here for this particular one. So for this particular one, the product cost will be $13. It's going to get multiplied by three, and we're going to end up with a final price. So it's going to be $40 or something like that. And for this one, $26 multiplied by three, it's going to be around $90, you know, something like that. So that's how these pricing rules work is, uh, let's go back to our pricing rules here. So it's the product cost multiplied by three, and you get your final price. And for this compare price, which is our compare price right here, this compare price, uh, what is going to be basically our, uh, our disc, you know, before discount price, uh, it's going to be six. So it'll be the product cost multiplied by six, and it will give us our compare price. So let's keep this use, uh, pricing rule uh, feature on because this is going to allow us to sell different options with different price markups. So that way, when we sell something for $36, we're going to actually be making you know um, three times that uh, for our profit. So now we are ready. We have our content that we like. We have the images that we like. We have our fulfillment store that we like, right? We would like this fulfillment store with the different variances. We specified our pricing rules. So we don't have one just big blanket price. We have actually, uh, you know, adjustable pricing rules for both the product cost and the final compare price. We are ready to go. So let us go back here to the top and click on push to store. And right away, it's going to add it to our import queue and have this product ready for us in a few seconds here uh, and ready to push to our store. So there's two ways that we can then see this, uh, you know, this product uh, in our uh, in our my products, right? We can either go to my products right here. We can click on this button or you know, we can close this since it's being imported in the background. We can just go ahead and, and start looking at different products. We don't have to wait for anything. Uh, or we can go into, uh, we can go to Shopify. We can go to my products right here. Click on my products. And right there, we have the product that we just pushed to our store. And you can see the shop price there. And we see a little picture of it. So on the right here, we have some links that will, uh, they're really quick access links that allow us to quickly uh, reach certain pages. So right at the top here, we have the fulfillment store. So this is, if I click on this, this will take us straight to the fulfillment store that we are going to be purchasing uh, this pillow from when we make our sale. So uh, that's a quick link to that, uh, that page right there. Uh, we can click on view on my store. So this will show us the product that we just sent to our store. And you can see all the different uh, colors or the, the options really uh, that we specified. You can see the prices, uh, the, the, the price rules that we set up. So it's you know multiplying the cost by the three that I showed you earlier. So you can see them all set up here. We can see our, uh, our product here. We can see the images that we, that we uh, uh, chose and we can see our, our description here and it all looks really, really good. Uh, and let's go back here. We also have uh, a link here to edit in Shopify. So if we click on this, this will take us straight into the product in Shopify's uh, administration back end. And we're, you know, we're able to kind of change prices here or, uh, or whatever we need to do. And the last link here is for uh, to update a fulfillment source. So let's say this particular uh, store stops selling this product or they run out of uh, they run out of stock. I mean, you know. 80,000, if they run out of stock, we're, we're doing really good here. Uh, if they run out of stock or they stop selling it for whatever reason, what we can do is we can locate other stores that are selling the same exact product. We can go back to sell the trend and find another fulfillment store. Uh, and we can just click on this and we can enter their URL here and just grab the URL of, you know, let's say this is another fulfillment store, just enter the URL and we put the URL right in here. Uh, and once we click OK, then it will uh, specify now a new fulfillment store uh, and we're going to start be able to uh, fulfill uh, these sales from this new store. Now let's head back to the Shopify to our Shopify store uh, and see uh, what the product looks like over there. Okay, so we're back here. Let's go to 
products. And now, as you can see, we have our first product imported to the Shopify store. You click on this product right here. And let's actually discuss shipping really quickly here. The way you specify, uh, as you remember when we did the shipping prices in an earlier video, uh, we basically set up the shipping based on the weight of the product. So let me show you here how you can change the weight of the product so it impact the shipping price. So if you, uh, if you let's actually go back here so I can show you exactly how to do that. Uh, if you go here to the bottom, you click on edit for any of these uh, any of these different variations of this product, the different colors. You click on edit, and right here you specify the weight of the product. So we specified that between uh, zero pounds to 0.24 pounds, I believe, uh, was going to be 295 shipping. So let's say we wanted to charge 295 shipping for this product, we can just put it at uh, uh, 0.24 or 0.10. You know, anything between that range is going to now make this product have a $2.95 extra shipping. So when we click save on that, and somebody buys this particular product from us, uh, you would have to set up the, the same thing on, on all of these different uh, variations. But when somebody buys this product from us, Shopify is going to automatically charge them another $2.95 uh, in shipping. Uh, we can specify different weight ranges like we specified in our shipping, and then it will charge them those prices accordingly. And now we are ready to move on to the next lesson, which is going to discuss fulfillment. So basically, once somebody buys a product from us, how are we going to go ahead and get that product and ship it to the customer without actually physically touching the product? And we're going to do that all in the next lesson.